five for the second time in its lifespan. It will peak at 160 miles also for the second time in its lifespan. But from then it starts to lose strength. And that's what I want to talk to you about. There's two reasons for it. One, we're going through what's called an eye wall restructuring. When you look at a hurricane, this outer portion is called the rain band. Then of course we have the eye of the hurricane and in a perimeter right along the eye, that is called the eye wall. That was where we see the heaviest of the rain, the gustiest of the wind, and generally the strongest part of the hurricane. What that's doing is almost shedding its skin. It's kind of letting that go and rebuilding, which is common for hurricanes of this size. What we see when that happens is a wider rain band, but often a less intense storm. Additionally, as it moves north and east towards Florida, our hurricane is going through a highly sheared environment. Shear is when you start at the surface and you go up into the upper atmosphere, how the wind changes its direction as you get higher up. Hurricanes structurally are actually fairly weak. So when we have strong shear environments, it rips that hurricane apart. And that's why it's moving down from a five to a three before landfall. Even still, it will make landfall right near Tampa Bay. Now Thursday morning at about 2 a.m., still 125 miles an hour, a major category three hurricane.